Ready? Let's go. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing my Avengers Infinity War video review, and oh my god, I have so much to say, so this is going to be a spoilery-ish review, I'm not going to be talking about massive stuff, but when I get to those massive stuff, you guys can either click off or just skip past it, but I'm mainly going to be going over the basis, I'm not going to be going in too deep, I do plan on doing a few more videos on this, because man, this was a massive film, especially the post credits Scene, I will definitely do a video for that in the next few days once some more people have got to see the film But man Avengers Infinity War is finally here. I had a lot of issues going into the film I was skeptical and man did they put all my worries at bay I absolutely love the film and yes my channel is called the DC TV show and people always are like how can you like Marvel if you really like DC? I'm like, you can like both sides. And this is definitely, I think, my favourite MCU film of all time. And the main reason why I would say that is not just because, you know, it's really hyped up. I wasn't the most hyped, I was very sceptical before. But it was just due to going into this film and the stakes were so high. It was more dark, it had more seriousness in it. And you could really feel the emotions of each of these characters and especially Thanos' true compassion passion and man I love that they included more violence more blood a lot more death so I won't really go over the massive deaths but obviously the ending is massive and we'll maybe talk about that in a minute but I'm talking about the death of like all these other just sideline characters just you know it was brilliant how they just didn't hold back on anything and so obviously there is some issues with the film and I think as everyone can see when you go into the film there is so many characters and yes there is pacing issues and also maybe one too many stories but the Russo brothers do it in such a way that you can really skip past that and you can just enjoy the film and I think the substance of what they're dealing with is just crazy and the way that they actually intertwine these yes at some times you're like where is this story we haven't been here in like 30 minutes or so but when you go back you're really into it and the action's purely brilliant in this film and so moving on past my slight issues and I think that's everyone's biggest issue but then I think that's my only issue at all and so moving on the WTF moments were insane it was the best joy when I saw big spoilers Red Skull oh my god the cinema went crazy everyone went absolutely berserk over seeing Red Skull and I, I literally screamed I swear to god this was a literal massive shout out loud WTF moment. I was gone. I was gone. It was great. I absolutely loved that. So I love these massive moments that they intertwined into the film. Yes, there's only like maybe three or four of those massive moments, but there's some really good payoff moments like when Thor returns to Earth. That's really awesome. When everyone sees Banner for the first time, you know, different scenes like that where Thanos finally lets go of his emotion and he fully gets all the Infinity Stones. And probably one of my favourite endings to a film was the post credit scene which we will do a video about after, but I had the funniest experience in the cinema because when Samuel L. Jackson popped up on the screen and did the oh motherfucker line, it was brilliant. So they cut off there, that is obviously his massive line, they can't say the F word in the film, but that was just a brilliant payoff and homage to his own acting career. And also just the ending with the device actually landing on the ground and showing the Captain Marvel symbol. Literally, it was the funniest experience of my life. I posted about this on Twitter. As I saw the logo, I went, oh, Captain Marvel. And then literally about like three seconds later, the whole cinema, they're all really big Marvel fans, but I don't think any of them knew who Captain Marvel was. They all went, oh, Captain Marvel. It was so funny. It was hilarious. Probably one of the best experiences. So moving past the massive WTF spoiler moments, Thanos and his character development was truly intriguing and really, really done well. He was definitely the best thing about this film. His character actually had true compassion. You could feel for what he was doing and the stakes that he had to go through himself. And, you know, he had the Black Order who were really good. Although the CGI was a little bit iffy here and there, they were really good characters. And I loved the way that each of them got killed off. It was absolutely brilliant. And, you know, without the Black Order, none of this would have really worked. So massive congratulations to them for pulling off the Black Order in such a good way. And so moving on past Thanos and, you know, his amazing storyline, especially that Gamora moment that was really powerful. And then the M moment 
where he realizes I've got everything now this is great this is exactly what I wanted moving on to the other characters Captain America was especially good I absolutely loved him throughout the film he had quite a decent amount of screen time he didn't say too many words but he was great when he was I thought Scarlet Witch and Vision were especially good and also along with that on the other side we had Iron Man who I thought his death scene in quote and quotes was a really really good scene and I was kind of a little bit upset when they didn't follow through with that but we're not sure if he's actually survived or not but we'll have to wait and see and man that ending we'll talk about in a minute but it was so emotional and so Doctor Strange was probably my favorite along with Thanos and Captain America he was brilliant Benedict Cumberbatch did an ace job once again the Guardians were hilarious and Thor was really really good much better than normal I preferred him in this film than I've seen him in any other films. We got the Peter Dinklage cameo that was brilliant and just the use of less shaky cam. I thought you could connect more and it was less like a documentary like Civil War was and it felt like more of a cinematic film in a general sense. What I loved so much was the way that they didn't hesitate to kill off half of these characters. It was absolutely truly emotional. It was brilliant those scenes you know Black Panther going away Bucky going away the best one was Spider-Man when he disappeared oh my god I was literally like just sobbing inside when Spider-Man was doing that he's just a kid man that was absolutely brilliant so all of that I love how they weren't afraid to do that and remember I've got a theory going into Avengers Infinity War part 2 or whatever they're gonna call it the next film that's coming out next year remember this is the one way that they will succeed and we will beat Thanos and that had to happen so Doctor Strange although he supposedly died at the end you know they've done it all for a good reason and it's going to work so Captain Marvel is going to be linked into the mix I'm so ready to see Brie Larson as Captain Marvel man that post credit scene was brilliant we'll break it down in the next few days in another video but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching my spoilery review for Avengers Infinity War man I love this film definitely go check it out again if you've seen it already it was a brilliant film probably my favorite MCU film I just loved the stakes like I said it was just amazing how they didn't hold back on anything like I felt like in other past Marvel films they really held back on the stakes and you just haven't connected with the characters as much as this film so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye